no decision yet, and the Maryland Child Alliance, which collected enough signatures to put it on the November ballot, postponed a late afternoon news conference planned to comment on the ruling. Meanwhile, if there is any indication of how the judges are leaning, it may be in the questions they asked. The Court of Public Opinion supports the baby bonus ballot question. Because it's hard out here, I mean, it's even stated on the radio that minimum wage, you can't afford your own place, a car, and have everything you need, so it would help because we don't, single women don't get a lot of help. The proposal amends the city's constitution to require a one-time $1,000 payment to families of a newborn or adopted child. Costs of living have increased, especially at places like grocery stores. That $1,000 will be a bonus. The fate of the baby bonus ballot question is now in the hands of the state's highest court. A lower court rule, the referendum question, is unconstitutional. Aren't you basically just opening the door wide for legislation effectively by initiative? The argument centered on whether the proposed ballot question usurps city council's lawmaking power. You have to leave those details to the legislature. And again, these are not logistical details. These are the details of policy, who the money should go to, how you spend the money, how you best further the public interest. Those are the decisions that should be made by the legislature and not in a charter amendment. But supporters point out the language is almost identical to the 2016 Children and Youth Fund charter amendment. The city really has broad discretion and how to administer the youth fund that's absent in the baby bonus amendment. Strike through the line dealing with the $1,000, leave the rest of the amendment, which would basically still go to the purpose uh, and the intent of the drafters, which is to provide a payment to new parents, and at that point the city could then decide the rest of the implementation. How would you respond to Mr. Stitchell's suggestion? There's really nothing to excise that would leave any meaning. So if you had just given that broad authorization, that might be fine. There is some urgency attached to the decision. The state must finalize ballots by September 8th. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.